How's it going everyone? This is Ace Car Collection back with another Through the Mail Tuesday video. This week we had 8 returns. If you guys do not know what Through the Mail is, Through the Mail is sending out auto requests through the mail. So you send out a nice little letter request, a self-addressed self stamped envelope, excuse me, and something to sign. And you'd be really surprised who you can get back. But without further ado, I say we take a look at these. I'll put them right here, and we will head over to San Antonio, Texas, Rio Grande District. So, this one's very, very, very full. Not sure what we got, but I'm going to cut through the top. So, we got, ooh, we got some index cards in here. Ooh, okay. Let's take a look. Ooh, okay, Bill Bradley. How cool is that? Oh, nice. Okay. Looks like he... I just stick it in him. Wow. Holy smokes. So I sent these two cards to Bill Bradley. Wow. Long time coach. Did you see here? Interceptions leader. He actually led the NFL in interceptions twice in his career. So pretty amazing return. Jeez, look at all the stuff he sent. He was a three-time pro baller for those Eagles. He actually, uh, he punted as well, which is really, really cool. Man, lots to go through. I'm going to put this here. Put that one there. Include this really nice uh, upper deck. I don't know if this is a, yeah, it's not a sticker, but look at that quarterback at Texas. So, man, this guy was amazing. Looks like this is just a printed off thing. Um, wow, he has everything going on his whole career. How amazing is this? I've never sent to Bill Bradley before. Yeah, right here it says he has punter, safety, everything like that. Jeez, such a... This is awesome. And then he hand-wrote this out. Guys, numbers in high school, college, pros. This is awesome. Holy smokes. I've never sent to Bill Bradley before. I picked up these cards out of the, like, a 50-cent box at a card show not that long ago. Um... Knew he was a pro baller for, you know, a few years. He was a pro baller for three years. Um, Two-time first team All-Pro. He's in the Eagles Hall of Fame. He, he actually won the Great Cup Championship twice as a coach. Um, he's been a coach all over the place, really, in Texas. You know, all over, I mean, I remember back he was at Baylor. He was their defensive coordinator. Um, but, yeah, really amazing return. Holy smokes. Thank you, Mr. Bill Bradley. That's... That's a tough one to beat to start, jeez. Um, but that came back in just seven days, guys. No fee required. How awesome was that? Let's let's go to Pittsburgh and PA and see what we got. We got we're out of space already. Man, I'm I'm just kind of blown away by that one, guys. Looks like this. We got another little insert into this one. Okay, Sid Bream. How about that? Life is not a game. Goes into his little testimonial. Pretty nice. Put that over here to the side. Looks like we got three of three from Mr. Sid Bream. This came back, or these came back in just five days. Really quick return. Nice little scriptures on there as well. Nice. I did send... He Sid Bream is a $1 donation per. I actually got all of these cards out of my old monster boxes, and I figured I'd send a 90 Donruss, 90 Upper Deck, and a 90 Fleer. So, really cool. Different scriptures on each different one here. But, of course, Sid Bream started his career off with these Pirates. Um, ended up going to the Braves and breaking the Pirates' hearts. Excuse me, started his career with the Dodgers, then went to the Pirates where he got some notoriety. Um, and then finished off with the Braves and the Astros, but it was in that NLCS where the Braves defeated Pittsburgh and then ended up going to the World Series two years in a row. Lost both times, but he's able to start first base for them before they picked up Mr. Fred McGriff. But really great return from Mr. Sid Bream. He is a TTM legend. I don't know what card to feature here. Let's go with the 90 Don Ross, since Mr. Brennan Stevens is building that set. But... Hadn't sent to him before, I picked out a bunch of his cards out of my own monster boxes. And I was like, I gotta send it to Sid Bream. He is a TTM legend. Thank you, sir. We're gonna stay in Pittsburgh, PA, it looks like. And again, that Sid Bream came back in just 
five days super super quick let's see what's return number two from pittsburgh pa is no hard card whoa sean casey check out this rookies and stars there he is with the pirates on the tops heritage the mayor and there is a rookie card a don ross rookie card how cool is that he of course was with the reds for a handful of years started his career excuse me again he was with the cleveland indians then went to the reds made the mistake with Sibrian, making the mistake with uh, sean casey both first basemen he then went to go play for the pirates and finished off his career with the tigers and the red sox he was a three-time all-star with those cincinnati reds made their hall of fame He's a fantastic commentator on MLB Tonight, so really enjoy listening to his perspective. Had this rookie card, thought he'd look really cool signed. I may or may not have tried to send to him at the MLB Network address, and it just didn't work. I didn't get a response, So, and that was like last October. Um, sent these off to his address in Pittsburgh and got them back in just six days. No fee was required. Really like that look, Rookies and Stars. This is another one where I have, uh, I don't know, about 10 of his cards in a monster box. Figured I'd pull a couple of them out, see what they look like, you know, see if I can get them signed. And that blue ink just looks awesome. Thank you, Sean Casey. The Mayor feature that nice nine, or that Donruss rookie card. And we're going to, and again, that came back in just six days, guys. We're going to go to San Bernardino, California across the coast from good old Pittsburgh there's a hard card in here if I can get it out hey Steve Garvey did he sign the rookie card look at that 84 Don Ross everybody seems to like these 84 Don Rosses that's what I wanted <laughs> the 1971 rookie card with so much love look at that all these dinged up corners and everything perfect TTM look at that that's a great signature I've seen a lot of people really like these 84 Donrusses. I pulled this out of one of my monster boxes. It looks pretty good, I gotta admit. I like it, I'm coming around to them. This came back super quick. It was just seven days, all the way to Cal outside California and back. And it was only a $5 fee per. And Steve Garvey, he's not in the Hall of Fame. I don't know why. He won the Gold Glove four times, NLCS MVP twice, NL MVP once in 1974. Won a World Series championship in 1981 with the Dodgers. And then he was also a 10-time All-Star. I don't know what's <laughs> I don't know why he was not. I guess I didn't look at his, his stats stats. Maybe he just didn't compile enough, but that's pretty impressive. MVP, 10-time All-Star. I mean, come on guys. Pretty, pretty good. So and he must have been a good dude too, because he also won the Roberto Clemente Award in 1981. So Really like this thin blue Sharpie he did here. Looks really good on these vintage cards. Just love this 71 tops though. I had to pick this one up. I think it was like a $12 card. Totally worth it. Again, just seven days. $5 fee per. Really, really good deal. Thank you, Mr. Steve Garvey. We are, of course, going to feature the rookie card. And then we're going to go over to Fort Myers, Florida. I guess we're going back around the country and down a little bit south and... Ooh, okay <laughs> look at the blue ink up here with Sonny Jurgensen oh I sent him the Ken Anderson so look at this one this is a oh, let me take a look which what year is this card a 61 tops and that's what I wanted <laughs> Check out that dual sign card with Ken Anderson. 1974 passing leaders. That is awesome. I am so pumped to finish that. Look at that. And then we have a Philadelphia card too here on the back from 1966. So cool. <laughs> I don't even I mean I gotta feature the dual sign one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put all three of them out there. That is so cool, guys. All right, that one, I don't even know. I wasn't expecting that one back right now, so I'm going to go to the spreadsheet and figure it out. It came back in 10 days, 
He does require a $5 fee, which is totally worth it. I mean, Hall of Famer in 1983. Won NFL Championship with the Eagles in 1960. He was a five-time pro bowler and led the NFL in passing yards five times. Led the NFL in passing touchdowns twice. Part of the 1960s all-decade team is in the Redskins and the Philadelphia Eagles Hall of Fame. And, of course, he is in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Thank you, Mr. Sonny Jurgensen. That's amazing. These All three of these cards turned out amazing. He even did a little scribble here on my card saver, which is kind of cool, too. <laughs> but, but, wow, this is this has turned out to be a great week, guys. Again, that came back in just, or those came back in just 10 days. Um, did require a $5 fee, but, again, like Mr. Steve Garvey, completely worth it. Let's go to Nova. Not that far down the road. This one's pretty thick. Feel bad I keep hitting the, the Bill Bradley Texas upper deck. Oh, there's a lot going on here too. Looks like my letter of request will put that over there. Okay. Oh, sweet P. Roy Jefferson. Oh, this looks like one he sent himself. Really cool. Okay, so this is a custom card he sent of his 1970 Topps card. All pro there. He's got his uh, three-time pro baller. He wrote everything out for me. I don't have to say anything about him, I guess. But yeah, look at that. And then there's the 70 card I sent him. We got a little smear, but that's okay. Got his, looks like his career stats here. Pretty much the same as this one. Put this down here. Then we got a 1973 tops. Oh, he sent me an extra. He sent me two extras. This is another, uh, this is like his 75 tops, but this is another one of his, uh, his own customs. Jeez, what a great week. 73 tops, though. Love this beard he's got going on there, guys. And then check this one out. I'm not 100% sure if this is his rookie card or not, but it is in 1967 Philadelphia. Looks really, really good. Thank you, Mr. Roy Jefferson. I'm going to put that one there. We got, so that's like a, what, five for five? Let me check out this letter, though. No, just sent that back. Perfect. So, that came back in just 10 days. Did not require a fee. I mean, he's part of the 80 greatest Redskins. He won the Super Bowl with the Colts in Super, or, uh, Super Bowl five, all over the place today. Three-time pro baller, as he wrote there. He led the NFL in receiving yards in 1968. All pro in 1969. Second team all pro in 68 and 71. And in college... He was a first-team All-American at Utah. Thank you, Mr. Roy Jefferson. Sent two additional custom cards. That's awesome. We still have two returns to go, guys. This is turning out to be a long one. I do apologize for that. But we're going up north to Philadelphia, PA. Cut that open. Try not to get to end on the cards. <laughs> Strong week continues. Bill Mazeroski on the 1971 Tops card. Got a little chip. Maybe I can fix that there. I don't know. We'll see. Worry about that later. Check out that 1971 Tops card. Year the Pirates won the World Series. And then there's the other year they won the World Series. 1960. I had this card in a monster box. I, it's just like an old Tops card. Not an old Topps card, but it's a 2017 Topps. This is, of course, in 1960 when he hit the walk-off home run in the World Series. People were mobbing him as he's trying to get to home plate to meet his teammates. Really cool. And then the 1971 Topps for when they won the World Series. Or when they won the World Series in 1971. This came back in just seven days. There was a $10 uh, fee associated with each of them. So $20 total. Completely worth it. Elected to the Hall of Fame in 2001. He was a 10-time All-Star like Steve Garvey. He was a two-time World Series champion, as you see here in 1960 and 1971. He's also an eight-time Gold Glove winner. And his number nine is retired by the Pittsburgh Pirates. Thank you, Mr. Bill Mazeroski. I don't know where to go with these. We're going to have to put them up here. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. Last return, guys. 
Phil, or I'm sorry, we're going back to Pittsburgh. Whew. A lot of Pittsburgh today. You get the Steelers and the Pirates represented all over the place. And two cards in here, it looks like. Nice. Get that out of here. Neil Walker on the rookie card for Allen and Ginter. And oh, wow. Check out that Topps Chrome from 2011. Really, really awesome. Just see how long this came to take. Come home. Let's see how long this one takes to come, come back to us. Let's see. I'm all over the place today, guys. As usual. Six days. Super quick return for Mr. Neil Walker. Who I guess is, I don't know if he's officially retired. He's not signed with a team right now. But he played for these Pirates. He was a hometown guy. His dad played for the Pirates as well. Um, there's really, there's a really big story behind that involving uh, his dad, Roberto Clemente. If you guys really want to check that out. Um, he went off to the Mets, of course, and then finished things off with like the Brewers, the Yankees, the Marlins. I don't know if he... I remember him with the Phillies. I don't know if that was just in the uh, you know spring training or if he actually played with them in 2020. But he won a Silver Slugger in 2014 with the Pirates. I was absolutely shocked he wasn't, you know, an all-star that year. But hit a bunch of home runs, 149, I think it was. And then he had over 600 RBIs. Pretty good Pittsburgh Pirate there. Right when they were, you know, winning those from that 2012-2015 time frame. Um, he was one of the big contributors on that team. Thank you, Mr. Neil Walker. Love adding it to this. Allen and Ginter. And this Topps Chrome, which came out beautifully. Had to prep this card. You know, took a little bit to prep this card, but it looks great. That blue ink there. Um, he is, I believe, a two per, but does not require a fee. So if you guys are sending two to him, I've been reading that if you send three or four of them, he'll keep the extra ones and just send two back. But really great return from Roy Jefferson. This is another monster box find of mine. I'll put them down there. Eight returns, guys. I don't know how many cards we got back, but a ton. Um, thank you to everybody for watching. Thank you to everybody for these amazing returns. I mean, holy smoke, especially Mr. Bill Bradley and Roy Jefferson. Those Sending those extras is just awesome. So really happy to add all these cards to the collection, all these autographs to the collection. And again, appreciate everybody watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your week. And hope you all have full mailboxes. And hope to see you all next week for some more returns. Thanks. Bye.